Tim Scott now joined by our Newport Gulls co-players of the game. First, we'll start on the defensive side. Jack Patterson, his finest start this summer here for the Newport Gulls. You went seven innings, of course, in a start not too long ago. But tonight, eight innings of work, well over 100 pitches in the game, only six hits. And after a shaky couple of innings, you really settled into a groove and kept those Waves hitters off balance. Yeah, I mean, uh, the second and third inning were a little tough. Uh, they got a couple infield hits or hits through the infield, and then... That one double on that 2-1 pitch really cracked it open for him early in the game. And really because of that, I just wanted to try and settle down. And it was, I'd already given up four runs by the third inning, so I just wanted to see how much longer I'd pitch and not give up another run, and luckily I was able to do that. How did you feel going out there into the eighth? You know, uh, that was definitely something new to me this summer, so it definitely felt good. Um, you know, I was surprisingly felt a lot better than I thought I would going out in the eighth. And, a little disappointed I wasn't able to go out for the ninth, but I totally understood it. I, my pitch count was through the roof, and we wanted to get Mark in inning work, so I totally understood, and I was, was happy with the win. Now, with the Newport Gulls now moving on, postseason competition, how important was it was it for you to go out there and throw eight innings with the staff a little depleted right now? You know, really all day I was just focused on just I want to do the best I can to keep our team in the game, and I knew that we were going to come out today swinging the bats hot. We've, we've been hot for the past two weeks now swinging the bats, so I just – if I could give up maybe less than five or four runs today, I think we would have had a good chance to win, and that's what happened. We're playing tomorrow, so it's awesome. Did you see that Salter Grand Slam go over the fence? You know what? I was sitting next to PJ on uh, on the bench, and I said, PJ's going to hit a Grand Slam right here, and, and he did. So That's funny. Tim Scott and I said the same thing on the air. I'm not going to take credit for it, but you know, I did call it before the pitch was hit. So, so the goals took the lead at that point. Tonight, do or die game. How did you feel going out to pitch again after Newport secured the lead? You know, I just, once once I got that lead, I was just telling myself, we're going to keep this lead. I'm not going to give them anything back, and I'm just going to go out there, and I just wanted to attack, get ahead. The slider was working really well today. They were keeping them off balance, so I just used that to get ahead all day, and luckily we were able, not, able to come out with the win today, so it was good. Jack Patterson, you're a Newport Coles co-player of the game. Congratulations on the victory. Eight innings tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Jack. Blaze Salter, our other co-player of the game. Congratulations on another fantastic night of the play. You drove in five runs, three hits in this ball game, including the first Grand Slam this summer by the Newport Gulls. This one put the Gulls ahead for good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, you know, Jack is a Jack great out tonight, but out of him, uh, you know, he kept us in the game the entire night. You know, started off a little shaky, but you know, it's just you know, it's a tough atmosphere. It's a great hitting team on Ocean State. You know, they always put good at bats together, and uh, you know, he settled in great, and you know. Uh, Kept us in it, and you know that that pitch that I faced was a good pitcher. They have a great pitching staff, Motion State, and you know, I was thankful to get a good swing off that one. Like the Gulls, the Waves a little short-handed pitching. This has been a long series. The last couple of games, back and forth, these two teams have gone. Last night, of course, was a wild one. Newport out to an early eight nothing lead. The Waves climbing back into it. You know, counting our blessings after that one. Coming into this game, do or die. You know, what was the attitude amongst the players in the dugout? Oh yeah, we had a chip on our shoulder. Obviously, you know, it's game three or treating like it's game seven of the World Series, something like that. You know, we came out here. You know, we always want to beat a team that's in the same state as us to show them. You know that, uh, you know, we got a good team. And, uh, you know, we came out here tonight with a chip on our shoulder, you know, try to put good swings on balls, you know, play good defense, and, uh, you know, we game, came out victorious. Tell us about the at-bat where you hit the grand slam. Uh, so I got that note, too. That pitcher, you know, had my number a little bit this summer. He was a good sidearm pitcher, and, uh, you know, he went – he went, I, I took a fastball first pitch right down the middle. I probably should have hit it, but uh, then he went slider away. I took, or I uh, swung through that, so I kind of, kind of got in a hole. And uh, I'm actually, uh, I actually prefer sometimes to hit with two strikes off those guys because I widen out a little bit. So I widened out and, uh, you know, took two sliders down. Then he came slider again, and uh, you know, I uh, hopefully or thankfully put a good swing on one and then uh, carried the fence. Do you know what was going on contact? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Tenth home run this season for Blaze Salter. You know when it's going. Yeah, I knew it was gone. I mean, even with the high wall here at Cardines, uh, you know, I knew it hit it well enough, you know, to carry the wall. And, uh, you know, I'm not one to, uh, you know, pimp the pimp the home runs. You know, I just, you know, try to act like I've done it before. And, uh, you know, I got pretty pumped up coming into home plate because, you know, the place here was uh, going going nuts. And, uh, you know, it gave us some good momentum, you know, going after that. The whole team, course, Reed here at the dugout. That was a great momentum swing for the Newport Gulls. But now you got to take that momentum, harness it, carry it tomorrow. Newport Gulls go on the road for game one. This is the first time they won't have home field advantage in the playoff series. Facing off against a tough team, Plymouth Pilgrims, a team, though, that Newport was 5-1 and one against this year. Of course, you had a few long balls yourself at Forges Field. Yeah, um, you know, Plymouth's a great team, obviously. Look at their record. You know, they got the best record in the NACBL. And, uh, you know, they won our division. So, obviously, you know, 
we've had some we've had some success about, on them uh, this year, but you know that doesn't mean anything come playoff time. Now, uh, you know they're a great team. They have great pitching staff, great hitters, and they play great defense. So it's going to be a, a uh, tough challenge. You know they're going to want to piece us after what we did during the season, and uh, we just got to go up there with a the chip on our shoulder and uh, play hard. Blaze Salter alongside Jack Baston, your goal is co player of the game. Thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the big win tonight. Thank you very much. Go goals. We'll see you tomorrow up in Plymouth. We'll set up to Tim Scott extended post game show coverage. Plenty of time. Stay tuned here on the ACBO Broadcast Network. We'll be on with you for the next few minutes as Tim Scott alongside Blair Schneider and the captain have plenty more to come. Tim.